What's happening guys, it's Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now, Daniel Dubois is back in action on December the 21st, I believe. He'll be taking on Japanese heavyweight Kiyotaro Fujimita. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. But yeah, Daniel Dubois will be back in December, uh, fresh off his Commonwealth title victory over Ebenezer Tete. Uh, wasn't a very difficult fight from at all. I believe it blew him away in one round. So that was a very early night for him. And um, although we don't know much about this heavyweight, I, I certainly don't know much about him. I did have a look and he is ranked in the top 15. I think it is the WBA maybe. Um, but he is ranked, so you know it's another stepping stone for Daniel Dubois. Um, I think the WBA international, one of the international titles is on the line, which obviously don't mean too much, but um, it does allow Daniel Dubois to crack into the top 15 of the heavyweight rankings. So he'll be looking at it as an important fight for him to, you know, get through. And, um, you know, I don't know, like I said, I don't know much about this guy, uh, but I'm, I'm presuming he's been brought in there for Daniel Dubois to look good against. Um, he's not in the top, like, the top 15 or top 20 of any of my rankings that I'm aware of, but apparently he is according to one of the sanctioning bodies. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a good fight for Daniel Dubois. Um, get some more action, get some more rounds in and try and get his name out there. I think at this point in time now, um, he's defeated the likes of Nathan Gorman, which was a big fight on the British scale. And um, he going into the next year, I think if he can continue to rack up these wins and stay busy, then the big fights are going to come. I mean, there is no particular rush for Daniel Dubois. He's only like, what, 20, 21 years old. So there's a lot of time for development. Uh, the heavyweight division right now is um, is very exciting. It's the most exciting division out there, in my opinion. There's loads of people out there for Daniel Dubois to fight. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing his development over the next year. So it's another good step. And um, I'm interested to see in it. You know, we've got Tommy Fury also on the undercard. So that might be able to build up a little bit of following there as well. Um, it's taking place at the Royal Albert Hall, which is beginning to be like a venue of choice for Daniel Dubois. And um, I think it's good. I think it's good what Frank Warren's doing with him. I want to say actually as well that some people were asking me last week, I think, or the week before, they said to me, um, like, do you think that Daniel Dubois should leave Frank Warren and go to Eddie Hearn if he had the chance? And I think that Frank Warren is doing an okay job with him. I mean, Eddie Hearn is, of course, the better promoter. But just because he's the better promoter, it doesn't always mean that he would do better with a fighter than, you know, Frank Warren would. And I think a classic case for that is Josh Warrington. Josh Warrington was over there with Eddie Hearn. Um, he wasn't really, you know, he was kind of under the radar, even though he's got a massive following in Leeds. Eddie Hearn has such a big roster. I think Josh Warrington was kind of like just put on shows to fit in. But... I think with Frank Warren, I mean, he's fought the likes of Carl Frampton, Kid Galahad. He's sold out the Leeds Arena many times. He's become champion. And um, now he's heading for a unification fight, possibly, with Shakur Stevenson. So, um, yeah, the question was about Daniel Dubois and Dan in the yard of whether they should stay with Frank Warren or not. I think for now, in the meantime, I don't see it being an issue. I think that Frank Warren will invest a lot of his time, especially into Daniel Dubois. And, um, you know, he's there with Anthony Yard as well. So um, I think it's good for them to stay with Frank right now. Hopefully he can steer them in the right direction next year. I think it's going to be a big year for both guys and uh, particularly Daniel Dubois because he's starting to get the public, you know, more and more people are starting to tune into his fights now. And um, people will think that he's ready to take on the top guys. But, you know, he's got a lot of time on his side. So um, let's see how he gets on uh, at the end of next month against this guy. And um, if you guys know more about him, then feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll have a look at some videos in the meantime and see what he's about. See if he can pose Dubois any issues. But I thought I'd just give you an update on his next fight, December the 21st. I'm going to try and be there with the fan counts for that one. So um, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Catch you guys on the next one.